Hey guys, it's Miranda back with another video. So today I'm going to be doing a little potty training video. I am not an expert <laughs> potty trainer. I am a one time mom, first time mom, and I am, we're just getting through the potty training, but a viewer asked me to do a video of it. And I know a lot of people don't talk about it, which is crazy because it's an entire like year or so maybe more I don't know we're not fully done right of your life and nobody talks about all of like the nitty-gritty like nobody wants to talk about it so I figured I'd put out a video mostly because that viewer asked for it um specifically on potty training and what we did like I said not a potty training expert not an expert on anything you know um except maybe my child so here is what we did so i bought two books i'm gonna stick up on the screen and then i'll link below where i reviewed the books so we got potty training in three days and oh crap potty training i do recommend both of them for different reasons we took what we liked and left what we didn't which is what i suggest for everything in life like you don't need to follow somebody else's life step by step by step exactly what they say but if there's an idea you like take that throw away everything else um, so, I really liked both of these books. I do suggest both of them. Um, suggest Potty Training in Three Days more. I liked more of that and it was more concise. Um, I feel like the other one kind of dragged everything out and spent, like, a lot of the book just hyping herself up, which was insane. But I would recommend both of them. But if you're only going to buy one, Potty Training in Three Days. But your child will not be potty training in three days. They will understand the concept in three days. Hopefully. So, I'm going to start off by saying we started when Ari was two. And it took us two tries. So, we started out uh, like two months. No. Two or three months after Ari's second birthday. And he is a preemie. He was born three months early. So, keep that in mind. And then also, he's a boy. So, you know, if you have a girl, I don't know about that. I just have a boy. So, Ari, we started potty training. And I started out mostly with the potty training in three days ideas. So, every time he goes to the potty, we give him an M&M. M &M. M &M. Not every time he goes, because he didn't always pee. But every time he went and there was pee, we gave him M&Ms. Um... The first day, we completely ditched diapers, got rid of them, switched them to underpants. Um, we were using, like, the potty training in three days method at that time. So, you just put them in underwear. Um, you know what? I'll stick pictures of these on the screen, too, because it's, like, regular underwear and a t-shirt so you can see if they peed, right? And you're supposed to watch them like a hawk, which I suggest. They will wait until you leave the room to pee. As soon as you leave the room, they're going to pee or poop. So, um, I, we mostly did that book. So, we just brought him to the bathroom like every hour. We um, did not get a little potty. I didn't see the point of getting a little potty. In my opinion, it's like, why get a little potty? They're going to have to learn to use the big potty in other places. So, I'm going to have to teach them how to use the little one and then teach them again how to use the big one. It didn't seem right to me. So, we just got little steps to the potty so that he could use the big potty. So, he uses the big potty and when he pees, he sits because um, that's what they teach you in the books, both books. So, that's what I did. Whenever the boy pees, he sits until they get tall enough to reach. So, we brought him to the potty like every hour or so and then um, if he peed, we gave him M&M's. If he didn't pee, we didn't give him M&M's. If he peed in his pants, or his underpants, we told him that that was nasty and he was supposed to pee in the potty. He's not supposed to pee in his pants. You do not tell them that it's okay because it's not okay to pee in your pants. Like, yeah, it was an accident. It's not a bad thing. Like, we're not mad. Nobody's upset. But it's still not okay to pee in your pants. If you guys get what I'm saying, like, cause children are very literal. So like it made, it made sense to me in the books and I've heard other people say this, 
like don't say it's okay because then they're gonna think it's okay to pee in my underpants but so um that's how we started and pretty much how we continued uh well we started a little bit less than an hour and we worked up to an hour but the first time that Ari we were training him he got sick like a week a week and a half into it he was doing good and then he got sick you know not like crazy sick but like a cold sickness so then he was peeing on himself like every 30 minutes it was terrible and you know like when kids get sick it's like they can't control anything they can't control their bladder or their any their little bodies at all so it's like it was just a mess so we just stopped and we decided maybe in a month or so we'll try again you know we're gonna give him a break fully went back to diaper just like a baby fully didn't even think about the potty didn't even care about the potty and then decided to start over but also I feel like I'm jumping around a lot but there's a lot to talk about um so we did and still do underwear all day because these are some of the questions they ask so I want to make sure I cover them underwear all day we do um a diaper a pull-up nighttime pull-up um these are the ones we like the uh I think they're you know what I'll get a picture of the box and I'll stick it up here too um the nighttime pull-up diapers that's what we use for nap time and nighttime during his nap he usually does not have an accident um he can hold it until he wakes up and we go to the bathroom nighttime it's way too long and I think he holds it until he like wakes up and then immediately after he wakes up like he can't make it to the bathroom he just pees um because I don't like smell pee at night you know if I wake up I don't smell pee but I'm not gonna wake him up and change him in the middle of the night so that's the best I can tell you about that um we will not be night training anytime soon I mean one of my books said three I've heard people say four so we're just not worried about it I know a lot of kids will just stop peeing in the bed on their own and then you can just take the diapers away um but we're not there yet so I really don't have anything to say about that um all I can say is we're not night training him right now and we're just letting him sleep and you know if he's wet in the morning then we just you know clean him and put on his underwear if he's not wet just put on his underwear and go about our day um but nobody ever talks about these things and I got so many questions that I thought I would talk about it um so let's go to the second time that we potty trained we did the same thing with one change there they suggest that you do a naked day and then a commando day in one of the books so the second time we started him off naked in the morning and he was completely getting it so then we just like halfway through the day I think switched to commando and he was he got it like the second time he just got it it's like like he had like an accident or two for the first week he's not really having accidents anymore unless it's like our fault like we waited too long or like he was in the car for too long or something was going on it's usually our fault if he has an accident now he doesn't really have them but um yes so this is all p by the way is all i'm talking about is p so um we did the same thing m m's every time we went to the bathroom and then as like we're getting to the like a week or so in if he didn't ask for the m m we didn't give it and then unless he reminded us like he'll say mama you forgot m m and we give him the m m and then after a while he just stopped asking for them right so that's how we did that um and we also yeah we would like say yay you did it and things like that whenever he peed we would be very like proud and supportive and then again if he wet himself we would say oh that's nasty buddy we put our pee pee in the potty we don't put our pee pee in our underwear um 
and if he has an accident that's what we'll say um but yes we don't want to like shame him or anything but we want him to know that that's not the appropriate place to put your pee like we don't want to say it's okay again i feel like i talked about this already but then um yeah he just the second time it's like it just clicked and he just got it and i think maybe because it ended up being more like two months i think instead of one month that we took a break and maybe his bladder like you know got more mature and stuff and he was able to hold it for longer so now he can go like an hour hour and a half if we're outside and he's sweating two hours um he still doesn't really tell me which is uh kind of annoying he doesn't tell me we just kind of guess like an hour and a half he probably needs to go pee yeah he doesn't <laughs> i wish he would tell me we need to work on that i'm working on trying to get him like if i leave him to play by himself or something i'll tell him like not like by himself but like if i go in the kitchen and he's in the living room playing or something i'll be like i'll remind him tell me if you have to go pee pee or poo poo i'm gonna be right over here because that's when if he has an accident he'll have an accident he usually never has them, but when he has them is if like I'm around the corner. If I, or if I need to go pee myself, or if I'm around the corner in the kitchen cooking, that's when he'll do it. So still, <laughs> that's when he'll do it. Okay. I think I've pretty much covered anything, everything. Um... Oh, another thing. He takes a lot of naps in the car. He'll fall asleep in the car. So if we're going places, I just have uh, a couple of nighttime diapers in our bag. And then if like we go to the, like today, we went to the zoo. So we were leaving at like one o'clock. I knew he was probably going to take a nap on the way home. So I just brought him in the bathroom. After he peed, I switched his diaper to his I mean, switched his underwear to his nighttime diaper. And, um, we, uh, yeah, he just fell asleep in the car and then I brought him inside. He actually didn't even wet it, so I probably didn't even need to do that. Probably could get rid of the nap time, nap time diaper, actually, but I don't want to get pee all over my bed all the time that's honestly why we're still doing it is because he takes naps in my bed um if he took naps in his own bed and I could just strip that little thing and put it in the washer and then I probably would have him in underwear during his naps but he naps in our bed he sleeps in our bed all the time so yeah that's why I don't that's why I still do the diaper at nap time I'm trying to think of anything else uh, if we go in the car, like, a really long time, and it's gonna be, like, two hours before we get to a restroom, I'll also put him in a diaper. Um, so that's, like, it. Naps, really long car rides, and nighttime. And then there's two different kind of underpants. You can, you have, like, regular underpants, which is what he wears, like, at home. But if we go places, he wears the training underpants, and they've got, like, extra fabric in the middle and they like absorb the pee so if he has an accident they'll absorb it and I don't have to worry about him getting pee like wherever we are like it won't be because it doesn't go through that and then his pants so there won't be pee like on a chair at a restaurant <laughs> so I really recommend those pants I love them they hold all the pee I'll stick those on the um on here too I can't think of anything else if y'all want to leave me questions below I'll try and answer them or maybe I'll make a question answering video but that's just what we did um Ari's great he is starting I didn't even talk about poop we talk about poop so he is starting to get poop in the potty however he likes to try and save it for the morning when he wakes up like he likes to wake up in the morning and poop in that nighttime diaper before we get to the toilet <laughs> which is a mess and I know a lot of kids try to do that um I've heard that other parents say that they try and do that but he does sometimes poop in the potty sometimes he's 
trying to save it for that diaper. So yes, <laughs> that's the last thing. I think that's everything I needed to cover. I hope you guys like this video. And again, this is just what you what we did. What worked for us, you know. So like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. Thank you.